Asimo, Big Dog, DeFerby. Some of humanity's greatest work in the field of robotics. But at the end of the day, robots are just our tools. We use them for work, entertainment, and if you want to believe the news stories, in the next decade we'll use them for sex. And while it could be a good thing seeing how most of our technology has somewhat of a history indulging in our sexual preferences, let's just say I'm not moving out of the friend zone just yet. While yes, it will serve a purpose, I'm not exactly expecting to bust my nuts inside someone else's bolts anytime soon. I'll leave that to the pervy old men of the next generation. One particular pensioner called Dr. Kane went on an archaeological dig hoping to get a good boning but managed to find an unexpected capsule containing a scientific marvel of a robot called Mega Man X. Using X, Kane designed replicate androids, or reploids for short. Thank goodness he didn't call them mechanical widgets. But as luck would have it, all reploids have a fault in them that makes them go maverick eventually. So what's the plan for taking out these dangerous reploids? They create stronger reploids to eliminate them. So just to clarify, the plan for destroying the faulty robots is to create stronger faulty robots. So not only does the master plan go totally tits up, wonder how that happened, but robots now see humans as inferior and should be killed. Good to see Isaac Asimov's laws of robotics are still in place. Robots can't harm humans. Pfft, screw that, let's make an ostrich that throws buzz saws from its head. I don't understand if these robots were created before they went maverick, then why did they make so many of them with weaponry? What is the practical use of a robot bunny having gun ears? Was the future really in such high demand for rampant rabbits? And just to remind you, the thing that's going to stop these guys is Mega Man X, a robot that was created a century ago, and in a world where people see last year's iPhone is outdated, X is probably the equivalent to a calculator in this world, and with 100 years of research and development, I profoundly believe they found a much more efficient way to spell boobies upside down. And what about X's partner Zero? No one knows where Zero comes from, bloody hell I can't even tell what gender Zero is. You can't even trust robots you built yourself and you're bringing in support from elsewhere. Zero even bleeds from its mouth after it's beat up, is Zero some kind of cyborg or something? Actually who did create Zero? Oh, it was Dr. Wily. Great, at least it's someone I can trust. Oh, and another thing, in a war against the humans? What are the humans actually trying to do during all of this? There are only two robots in the entire world trying to stop the extermination of mankind, so why not help them out? The plan is to kill the Maverick leaders anyway, so why not get the military in or hell, drop an atom bomb on their base? It's not like robots can emerge from the fallout grossly disfigured and broken beyond use. That only happens when you try to upgrade your Windows operating system. Actually, looking at the Maverick leaders, what's with the naming convention of these guys? Spark Mandrill? What the actual fuck is a mandrill? I mean, it's just a guess, but I'd say it's related to the rampant rabbits. They aren't even developing upgrades for X. The only upgrades in this game weren't ever intended for use. They were a last resort that, again, were made a century ago. Dash boots and ultra arm cannon and body armor would have been super useful from the start. X probably wouldn't have legs if he wasn't created with them. And what were Dr. Light's motives for creating X anyway? Has he seen the news we're creating sex robots for Christ's sake? I'm surprised I can't fuck my sat nav yet. At least I'd know which route it wants me to take. It also doesn't matter that you're running a century's worth of diagnostics on Mega Man, you may have the most technologically advanced robot in the history of the world, but what scientific process is there to analyse something that hasn't been properly invented yet? To the untrained eye, your idea of QA testing was leaving him in a metal container for a century and then seeing if he was safe once it was opened, a tactic that has only ever worked for unexploded World War II bombs and tins of tuna. God knows where he got the funding for this from. If I had to walk in front of a group of investors and say, I want to create a humanoid capable of emotions that I could never get into a fight with, I'd be taken to one corner of the room and handed a leaflet for speed dating. 